DNR and uh, Dr. Hilger and his colleague are going to show us not only our non-contact ultrasonic imaging and uh, using lab waves for uh, carbon fiber reinforced polymer monitoring, but also where they just told me the use of virtual sensors, and we're quite curious to see what the virtual sensors are. Thank you very much for the nice announcement, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, my name is Wolfgang Kilger, and my colleague, the name of my colleague is Arthur Cepicek, and our, we are coming from DLR in Germany, from the German Aerospace Center, and our presentation is uh, entitled Imaging of Vapor Propagation by Ultrasonic Techniques and Concept of Virtual Sensors. Uh, it is well known that the wave propagation in carbon fiber composites is very complex and also the interaction with defects. Therefore, it is useful to visualize the wave propagation and its interaction. And uh, for this, uh, we use a fixed uh, PCT uh, on, at, on the component as a sender, and on the other side, we use uh, a scanning sensor, an air coupled scanning sensor. And, um, we connect the three data of the whole component and uh, we have a scanning speed of about uh, two hours per, uh, per square meter and we are 200 times faster than using a laser scanning interferometer. And uh, such a 3D file contains the whole data and the file size is about uh, 10 uh, gigabytes and uh, we can process the data and make a visualization in A, B, C and D scans and videos uh, which show the propagation of the sound uh, of the waves. And we can use the filter analysis and so on. And uh, the interesting thing is also mode detection for any orientation of an isotropic media. And now um, we have the idea, the concept of virtual sensors. Well, we can define a virtual sensor type, the geometry and the coupling technique, and we can put, we can position this sensor in the measured sound field uh, with, me measured, with, uh, with measured data. And we can calculate the receiving signal from such a uh, virtual sensor on the basis of uh, the 3D acoustic ultrasonic files. And this concept enables the optimization of sensors and their position and their concentration. And Arto will now show you in, in real time um, yes, the wave propagation and uh, the signal of virtual sensors. And we use uh, a very complex component. It's a tail boom of the AC-130 um, helicopter. Okay, Arthur, please start with your presentation. Um Thank you, Wolfgang, for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here, um, can you please switch to the slide? Here the pre-prepared 
data file in our analysis software. You see here a video animation of the wave propagation and the interaction of the waves with the defect in the middle of the scan area and you see a mode conversion in this impact uh, that cause a wave propagation out of the center of this impact itself and now uh, we can use a virtual sensor which we can define with the software and adjust it to the wavelength of the propagated um, wave out of this impact in the middle and our software calculates the expected signal of this virtual sensor and in comparison to the data of a one single point you see here in the second plot uh, you see a high separation of the mode that propagates from the impact and if you put the gain to a higher level, you see also a very high signal to noise ratio of the inter digital uh, form of this sensor. So um, this method can be used for optimization of the sensors themselves, their layout and also their position and um, their density within a structure uh, in order to uh, perfect it sensor network um, for every special um, yeah, um, yeah, problem of the damage detection. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. I think if we're already looking at the various things which have been shown here, which I didn't think of, if you could configure for in two years time the ideal sensor of a component which might be provided by one of the big, for example, aircraft manufacturers here, and maybe then somebody like Stanford University would manufacture that, sen uh, that sensor in a way, and we show that next time, that could be a good homework. We're just looking for a sponsor somewhere here to sponsor that work, so maybe you'll find one.